Hey guys, this is Kay here with WorkingLineWithKay.com. And guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to schedule your posts so that you can post in multiple Facebook groups. See guys, for the longest, I have been trying to figure out how are people posting um, throughout the day in all of these Facebook groups. Um, if you're a business owner or if you're online and you have an online business, you may want to market your business in these various um, groups that are on Facebook or you may just have uh, messages sometimes I do motivational quotes not just about posting my business but also about helping other people so I like to post in these multiple groups um, throughout the day and I don't want to sit here at my computer doing that all day long so I challenge myself to find out how to do this um, on Facebook so I use Hootsuite where I schedule my posts throughout the day because I still work a full-time job and so this allows me to be active on social media while I am at work so you do have to get Hootsuite you do have to upgrade to their plan I had their um, free account for a while but because I wanted to post in multiple groups I did upgrade my plan so once you upgrade what you want to do is uh, let's see let me close out of here I don't know if you guys can see this but on the left hand side if you kind of hover over here you will see where it says publisher so you'll want to click publisher and then you'll have this screen that pops up let me scoot this over sorry guys my screen is only so wide I don't know how to make it bigger anyway so what you want to do is click on bulk message upload now I didn't go over the steps as far as adding your groups and I'll probably do another video to show you how to add your groups um, your Facebook groups that you've joined because you have to join the groups first and then once you join them on Hootsuite you can add those groups um, to your Hootsuite account so I'll do another video so that you guys can see that um, but I just want to show you if you're past that point how to schedule your post so the type of file that Hootsuite takes is a CSV file. So in order for me to find out what type of information that they want, I downloaded this file here. Just click here. Um, the file will download for you. So I'll download here. Okay. Okay, so this is the sample file, and it tells you the format that it needs for your file. So what happened was, now what one thing that you can do, um, you can use this format for the, the date format and just change it. Um, so like today... You can just change the date. I don't know if it's the 17th, I think. Okay. And then you just change the time um, to whatever you want to post. And then make sure you um, know if you're posting a.m. or p.m. Now, if it's p.m., then, of course, you just change that to p.m. And so what I did was I would just copy this down. Let's say if you want it to post for the week. I would just copy it down and adjust the dates and the times there. Um, now, one thing, they, they, they do give you instructions on some of their rules. So, column one is the date and time. This is the format that they want, but the sample file already has that format. Um, column two, there is a character limitation of how many you can post. So, 140 characters is the most you can post for each um, message. And then um, column three is the URL. So if you have a link that you want your um, someone to click on, this is the URL that you want to use. Now, if you're in a business, you definitely want to track to see how much action you're getting to your post, how many clicks you're getting. And so I use a, a site called Bitly, B-I-T-Y, Bitly, sorry, B-I-T-L-Y.com, I think. But I use Bitly, and I am able to track to see for the day, how many clicks did I get on my link? How many people were interested in, in what I have to offer? 
Um, so then it says times must be set in, in the future, at least 10 minutes from the upload time. And then when you post your time, it has to end in either a five or a zero. Um, define only one message per time slot and duplicate messages are not allowed. Now, this may get a lot of you guys. Duplicate messages are not allowed. If you are, um, let's say if you're advertising your business, um, I had to try to figure out how can I get around that because I did have, um, I'll show you mine. I had the, like the same message, you know, that I want to post two or three times throughout the day. And so it rejected it because it was, you know, the same, it was the same um, text. And so I had to figure out a way how to change it. Now, um, unless you have a better way if you found a better way feel free to comment below my video and let me know we can share with the community um, if you found a better way but the way that i found um <clears throat> is i would maybe put an extra space here i may put an extra exclamation point here i may even take out some of the text so um it does take some time but once you're finished with this you'll be glad that you did it because you won't have to worry about posting for the week um, and so it's I, I think it's really simple just to do an extra space go here I may do an extra space in this word and then I may do an extra space here I think that's really simple to do but like I said if you found a better way to get around the duplicate message thing then please comment below and um, and share with the with the community so anyhow once you finish with that and then you've added your um, your URL here, like I said, is a good thing to track your URL, the activity. Then you want to upload your file. So you'll go here, choose file, and wherever it's saved at, um, you'll import your file. And then here's where you will um, want to add your groups. Now, here are my groups Advertise Your MLM, um, free home based business owners income opportunity make money online so I'll just click all of those Facebook groups that I have joined now if there's any issues with your file you will get a red you get a, a message highlighted in red stating that there is an issue with your file and you need to fix it um, I've had issues where the duplicate message issue was a concern um, I even had the time issue was a concern I didn't have it 10 minutes out into the future um, so just take note of that whatever the the error is and go ahead and correct it and then resubmit it once you submit it it'll let you know how many messages are going to be scheduled for that day so guys I hope this has helped you because it took me forever trying to find out how do I post um, messages to multiple Facebook groups on Facebook and so I hope I've helped you guys out there if you have any tips to share with me feel free to share below if this has helped you in your business then definitely comment below because I want to hear your comments guys and like this video and share with others I'm sure people who are online with you know with online businesses I'm sure they they have similar questions on how to do this so let's share with the community guys and I will talk to you on the next video. Take care. Bye.